stop everything. Yeah, I've heard that before. I will, I swear, Jaden. Now, I'm not saying that that man is a narcissist, but is he's at minimum a very toxic person, y'all. Of course, if you knew her, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. That was that man's reaction after his uh, ex-girlfriend caught him uh, cheating. And apparently, he went home with a girl from the bar and used his tongue. And then he forced himself to throw up because, you know, he was physically sick from what he had done. He can't believe that he hurt her. He can't believe that he would do something like this. So in another another one of her videos, she said that she was 17 and he was 21 when they first met. So to me, that's a red flag on the play. Mainly because you see a lot of toxic, manipulative people that go for younger people because they feel like they're easier to manipulate and things like that. Just like a lot of narcissists and toxic people do, when they get caught up, instead of just being accountable for their actions and telling them what really happened, they deny, they downplay it, and then they act like they are the victim. Him throwing up and crying and begging and pleading makes it seem like he's the victim here. I can't believe that I would hurt you so much. <laughs> Is it working? Yes. Does that work sometimes? Absolutely yes. Because if you don't know what that person is doing by crying and doing all the type of stuff, you'll take them back. Just like she did. She said she took him back. So this is the text message or Snapchat that she found that discovered that he had did something, y'all. Like, look at this. This is like, look at this. This is from someone else that was there. I left you with her because I trust you. I'm not, it's not really cool you made a move on my friend like that. Apparently they were both drunk and that, that's when the whole incident happened. That's super shady in and of itself. Like I said, she said that she took him back and like this is him pouting on the couch under a blanket acting like he's a victim or something like that. Like his, his body is so cold he needs a blanket to warm him up because of all the pain that he caused her. Victim mode. He even put together a little snack, a uh, little snack tray and a, <laughs> a ticket, a type note that said, I'm sorry, I love you. Typically, if you forgive a cheating toxic person, you just make a better cheater, especially if you catch them by going through their phone and things like that. Um, they'll put a password on their phone. They'll expect you to just trust them blindly by not going through their phone. Because if you forgive me, you shouldn't have to go through my phone anymore because you, you, sh you should trust me, right? And sometimes in situations like that, when you catch them by going through their phone, they'll make it your fault for going through their phone. They'll say things like, you invaded my privacy, or your trust issues are going to kill us, or your insecurities are going to kill us. We'd still be happy if you wouldn't have went through my phone and saw that stuff, right? Right? Am I right or am I wrong? We'd still be happy. Narcissistic, toxic people will gaslight and manipulate, try to gaslight you and manipulate their way out of a lot of different circumstances and things like that, y'all. And typically, y'all, the more times you take that type of person back, the worse it gets. And yes, some narcissists and toxic people can absolutely cry, y'all. They can cry real tears, but ask yourself, who are they crying for? Are they crying because they hurt you or, be or are they crying because they got caught and you try to hold them accountable? Hope this helps.